welcome to Crystal O TV. If you are new here, I am Crystal O, and this is my husband. What's up, y'all? Good to be back. Yes, back on the channel. It's been forever. Y'all get on him yeah, for not been, being on here yeah, because I can't lie. He's been hiding from the camera lately. I but can't lie. Anyways, as a lot of you may know, or maybe you don't know this, um, or you're new to this journey or new to my channel, um, we recently purchased two homes, not one, but two homes in the past six months. And that has been an experience. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, definitely has been an experience. And we want to share the process with you guys on how we were able to do that. Yeah. Because here's the truth. We ain't crazy rich <laughs> you're not just out here balling we're not like crazy we're not crazy rich assist these loans <laughs> we do have loans these, yeah student but, loans but we're not as broke as we were when we first got married right because so, we so, were struggling a little bit in paris we took a trip to paris and we struggling, was struggling we was really struggling so but the backstory behind the paris trip is that we booked it ahead of time when we had some money, but by the time we had the trip, we were broke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we made the most of it. It was a little rough, but we made it through. That was our one year anniversary yes. and now we're at two, so hey. Yes. But let's get to the part of what people actually click this video to learn more about. Yeah. So two homes, six months. What goes into even buying your first home? Well, why don't you tell them why we decided to buy a house in the first place? Yeah, can I tell them my story? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyways, um, so we were literally at home in our town home, which is like maybe 10 minutes away from where we're currently living. And we were watching Madam C.J. Walker, the self-made billionaire. And literally there's just like one line that popped up and it was like, you know, back in whatever, 1892 or whatever, there was a great recession and land was so cheap and literally a light bulb, a light bulb, a light bulb blew up in my head. Like just like, you know, the little cartoon, ding, ding, light bulb came up and I was like, oh my gosh, babe, we need to buy a house because we were in the midst of the pandemic. And not just to, to be insensitive to those who were impacted by the pandemic and impacted by Corona, but it was more so just an opportunity and like, wow, like we're both fortunate to both have jobs. We're both fortunate to give back and, you know, make sure we're taking care of our family if need be and taking care of ourselves and others that would need, you know, anything. Um, so we felt like it was an opportunity to go ahead and make the move on buying a home because there were some effects of the pandemic. And I remember listening on the radio and it talking about us kind of moving towards a recession. So the recession that I heard about on the radio kind of lit that light bulb up in my head when I heard Madam CJ Walker talk about it in the movie, the show on Netflix. So yeah. that was kind of my first light bulb. I really never had owning a home on my radar like so strongly, but that really nailed, nailed the coffin in for me. Yeah, no, for real. And when she talked about it, I was kind of like, eh, you know, because sometimes she'd be making these impulse buys. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm the budget guy. So, <laughs> eh, so I'm just like, eh. What's the everybody then, hates Chris guy? Uh, I don't know what his name is, but him, him. he's a hero. <laughs> um, but yeah, so when she brought it up, I was at first, I was kind of like, okay, you know, we can think about it. Let's take a couple of days and then. Uh, we started looking into different stuff and for me i was uh, automatically thinking outside of texas you right. know uh, for one day uh, if god has us in a in a different state so i'm already thinking that down that line mm -hmm. um and i just started talking to a few people we started having some conversations and they were like why don't y'all just buy now you're right. for sure here um for the next couple mm -hmm. of years uh, so why not why not buy here you know and I was like, okay. So we talked, we decided to start looking at, at houses. Right. So uh, we just started the process looking at Zillow. We were looking at all the different um, properties in our uh, in our range, you yeah. know, in our budget range. Yeah. And um, really it was, man, shout out to Zillow calculators and all those things that tell you how much house you can afford. Right. Because we really, we're able to use that and and it kind of gave us 
uh, a range of what we were able to select from. So right. after we started looking on Zillow, I hit my man Chaz up. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Chaz. He's my barber and my realtor and my friend and uh, our friend. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go from there. So what happened after we started looking at the houses on Zillow? Chaz took us around. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, so that was definitely it you know the kind of the the chronological order of things um i think also just sharing maybe babe some tips on just even like cr with credit karma and that telling us you know how much we can actually afford based off of our interest not interest rates off of our credit score so credit karma was a really good resource for us during the time of home ownership you know looking because it let us know what our credit score allowed us to have in our range obviously him being the money guy him being the let's not overdo it we went a little under the range of what our credit karma said we could afford just because we want to play it safe you know not go all out especially this not being our dream home we did want to be very cautious and more so utilize it for investment purposes in the future yeah so um, credit karma was a huge, um, you know, help if you literally type, well, it should be, it should have already been tracking your, you know, credit score and stuff like that. So it does tell you where you land. It does tell you what, what the amount of a home you can purchase with that credit score, the minimum, the maximum type of thing. So that was really helpful for both of us because we could both look at our app and see what we can actually afford and then shoot for a little under that to make sure we're not biting off more than we can chew. Right. right. Um, so yeah, so picking up after, um, up after the part where we start looking for a home, um, so I'm thinking like, you know, miss living lavish, okay, expensive, you know, like, I'm not cheap, my mother will tell you I am not cheap, okay, um, I'm looking at like a two stories, eight bed, like, I'm looking for to go out with a bang, okay, and given that it's not our to first, go in with a to bang. go in, <laughs> This said, look, our first house gonna be uh, <laughs> Bill Gates mentioned. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. I'm looking to go in with the bang, right? Like we talking about like pool, tennis court, we talking about B court, we talking about volleyball court, we talking about it all. But obviously, as God may have it, you know, you know, we were like, hey. Honestly, this is not our forever home and we both understand and agree to that and I've always heard the statement being that your first home You don't have to like be in love with it, right? Like I feel like there's a there's a like and a desire and a uh, you should at least want it, right? Like I I want this home. This was a this is a really awesome home, but just having to come to the more humble mindset of hey this is our first home we're both you know in our mid 20s I, I was probably in my early 20s at that point, right? Mid a couple months ago. <laughs> okay, my bad. We're both in our mid twenties. Someone's in his late. I'm not gonna say no names, but um, <laughs> we're both in our twenties. I see you. Thirty, What's thirty up? coming up real quick, <laughs> man. But anyways, uh, we're both in our twenties, um, and we're like, hey, you know, let's start off with this home. Let's get. Let's get our money into something, right? Let's get our money into some kind of ground. Whether it's a shack we're living in, which thank God we're not living in a shack, or whether it be this mansion, whatever. You know, let's get our money somewhere. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. Not to buy this big old dream home, but to get our money invested somewhere that we can actually tangibly see it. Mm -hmm. And that's where I came to the understanding of, wow, like, this, this is what we need to do for the now. And of course, down the line, we can buy that future dream home where we'll have the volleyball court, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> B-ball, you know, LeBron. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. But yeah, off of that, um, so home ownership actually is one of the greatest ways to create wealth actually in the United States. And it's been that way for like centuries, you know. So for us, uh, we just feel like as as believers we're called to steward our money well mm -hmm. you know and part of that is for sure giving first and foremost but it's also like being wise with your money right. you know um and a home is just a great investment for mm -hmm. us so that's why we bought we don't shame anyone who, who's not buying right. in their 20s or anything like that right. but for us it just made sense to buy now right um and for our money to go towards us in a way 
instead of going towards a landlord you know what i'm right. saying yeah. so because houses build in equity over time and you know you're able to make money from just living in a place or yeah. not even living in a place so right. that's kind of why we just decided to to mm -hmm. buy as mm -hmm. well um but yeah um let's talk a little bit about the interest rate that we got our current home at yes so we got our home at a 2.75 interest rate so if you ever bought a home before in the past however many years that is an incredible rate comparatively mm -hmm. so we got it for a crazy deal and show sure enough madam cj walker <laughs> was, was dropping gems yeah. uh, because it really did impact interest rates and we were able to get ours at a really low rate mm -hmm. so that was pretty cool too yeah and what is what does that what does the interest rate do for us like mm -hmm. how does that impact us on a practical level right so when you get a mortgage you're paying somebody you're borrowing somebody's money and you're and you're paying it back and interest is just the price of using someone else's money so um 2.75 is just going to be added to what we're paying them mm -hmm. back every month mm -hmm. with some additional extra uh, because they're giving us the money, they're lending us the money. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, guys, he's the money guy. He <laughs> he knows all the yeah, I got a lot the breakdown learn. of all of it. Yeah. But so that was basically, you know, the bulk of our first home and the details with that. We are currently in a, I would say, a kind of a suburb area, and we were intentional about choosing this area just because we do want to eventually rent out one day. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a great place for families. Like this is like the bread and butter of families mm -hmm. in like where we we're living in the city. So when we do plan to rent out, I don't doubt that it'll rent quickly because this you know ISD is an ISD that a lot of parents want their kids to go to school in. so for non-Texas people ISD is independent school district. district yeah so basically yeah. the school district is one where they'd want their kids to go it's very family oriented uh, mm -hmm. we have a four bed two, two bath, bath. Four bed, two bath, so it's very family accommodating. So right. um, that's the goal. We're not planning to sell, but we're planning to rent out and have it as one of our properties eventually when we do mm -hmm. move and buy our dream home. <laughs> you keep referencing this dream home. I'll pray for this. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it. We will. Um, also, so when it comes to uh, buying a home, so a home or a house is one of the few appreciating assets in the world. So what that basically means is that when you buy this, the value actually trends upward, not downward. So when you buy jewelry, it goes down. As soon as you take it, buy it from the store, the value is going down. Okay. When you buy a car, as soon as you drive it off the lot, mm -hmm. the value is going down. Yep. So when it, you buy a house, the value actually goes up. Mm -hmm. And depending on the area, the value can go up a whole lot. Right. You know, the area we're in is actually a new development mm -hmm. where there's they're building houses all around us. Um, and a lot of people are moving to this area. So we're hoping that they go up. Yeah. And, it <laughs> does, and, it, and, and it's it has already, already gone up. It's yeah. Already, we've already made money uh based off the value of our house mm -hmm. in in just the little time we've been living here so. right yeah so on to our second home on to our second <laughs> home or second house second house it right. is a home though it's a yeah. home for somebody it's a home for somebody um so i guess you can go with this one because this, this was really one of his like dreams in terms of you know buying another property and leasing it out and becoming tenants so Right. Go for it. I mean, I, I love the journey. I love that we get to do this together. I love learning from him. Right. I love his persistence and his dedication to like fixing the home up, being a part of the journey and that. So good job, boo. <laughs> good job. <laughs> um, but go ahead and share more about that. Absolutely. So our, our second property, uh, we were able to get in um, November. So about, what was that, like four months? Or yeah. Three, three, four months after our first property. So the reason we were able to do that, one, we had some money saved up already mm -hmm. um, that we were just trying to figure out what we're going to do with that mm -hmm. money. Um, but also, when we bought our house that we live in right now, mm -hmm. uh, we paid 3.5% down, right. which is 
pretty good because we were able to get an FHA loan, which are for first time home homeowners. Mm -hmm. So all that means is that we didn't have to pay as much down payment. Also, credits, uh, Crystal's credit was fire. Uh, so shout out to her. I might be the my. She actually has a better credit score than me. So for being for being honest, you know, so, I like nice things. But let me tell y'all, I am very wise with my money. So yeah. don't think I'm out here just blowing cash. Like right. no, I am very right. wise with my money. I really do believe we are called to be good stewards of our money. So I I try Absolutely. to very stay away from large purchases that I know I cannot afford. In college, I did not have. A, I just yeah, I stayed away from credit because I knew like. Until I have a full-time job with full-time income and full-time money, I don't really need to owe anyone any, anything. So yeah. that was that's Real just talk. my personal. Real talk. Mm -hmm. Real talk. So with that, with that being said, so we um, were able to get a pretty good deal on on our mortgage and how much we were able to put down. Mm -hmm. And because we put down so little, we were able to put the rest of that money we had saved up towards another property. Right. Um, and this property, so what happens when you buy one house that you live in, the second house, the down payment becomes like 25% off top. 20% or 25% off top so if you're not high. living in it. So it's like very high compared to the 3.5% right. uh, down that we, we pay for our, the house we live in. Mm -hmm. So we were able to like, do what's called creative financing mm -hmm. on it um, i actually know the guy who was selling the house who were able to work something out through a thing called owner financing mm -hmm. um, and through that we were able to put down a lower down payment and we were able to um you know pay it off monthly but it is a little bit of a higher interest rate. Right. That's just what comes with it. Mm -hmm. But it still allowed us to buy the house. So right, right. that's how we got our second one. Mm -hmm. And our second one, we're not planning to live live in. Mm -hmm. it's, it was a lot cheaper than this one. Right. Um, because it's, it's an investment property. So right. we're going to put money into it, make it look nicer. Mm -hmm. She got the creative eye. So she gives ideas <laughs> and, and how we can make it look pretty <laughs> and um and then i just tried to like be the business side behind things right um but yeah so we we uh got that second property and mm -hmm. we're finishing some things up we have to do some work to the house right. and we're finishing that up and hopefully have somebody living there here, yeah here next month here yeah. next month yeah. yeah so it's been a really exciting process obviously this video we don't want it to go on for too long um so if you guys have any questions for us feel free to comment below um maybe we can do a part two of this video just so you guys can kind of get your questions answered um we did just want to hop on here to share our journey because i feel like a lot of times we just hear about people accomplishing stuff accomplishing stuff but we don't really get to like hear the backstory mm -hmm. right? right so this is just to show you that it's possible right it's possible for you it's possible for someone out there that may think that owning a home is like totally not in their you know scope of possibilities mm -hmm. um yeah so that's just hopefully giving you guys some hope we're two yeah. youngins Mary, yeah, just yeah. trying to make it in life and build generational wealth and i really do be believe owning a home is one of the key factors in building generational right. wealth so get your money in some land like he said no judgment if you don't have any money in land but mm -hmm. our goal is to continue to purchasing homes hopefully you know having more investment properties we laughed one day about you know hearing about someone buying an apartment complex and that's like goals like right. to purchase an apartment complex right. wow so like that's like goals like maybe 10 year goals babe yeah 10 10 year who knows it i mean be before it could be before <laughs> money he got money y'all <laughs> but yeah an apartment complex like yeah like that would be like crazy amazing but who knows so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up also Don't we're forget. sporting the merch Don't so forget. go ahead and click below in the description bar or click on the sides of this video it should pop up to say purchase some merch um we love 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 the support we received so far on the merch it's been amazing i'm just so glad that a lot of you guys have just seen this journey watched my journey and just really support you know what i do what we do and really love the mission behind you know our hearts call in life 
So support, purchase some merch, and follow us on Instagram if you are new here. Um, his Instagram handle is yinka.o. Mm -hmm. I'll put it up on the screen. My Instagram handle is crystalotv. Um, and yeah, I guess that's basically it. Yes. Alrighty, so Thanks, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Let us know if you have any questions. Yes, and we'll talk She'll to you guys. She'll answer all of them. No, he'll answer <laughs> all of them. Bye, guys.